Good morning, I'm Dr. Stami Sherry, cardiologist at Havre Street. I want to speak today about coronary artery disease. Why coronary artery disease? Because it represents the most important disease worldwide and it causes about 15 to 20% of heart death worldwide. Coronary artery disease is due to a lesion in the coronary artery. It might be tight lesion or totally occluded. How it's represent, how it's present? The patient said that I have chest pain. Duration two, three minutes. Sometimes during exercise, sometimes at rest. And sometimes it might be radiate to the neck, to the left arms and to the fingers and sometimes to the back. Sign, the patient might be pale, with shortness of breath, agitated, anxious. What we have to do? He has to go to the, her doctors. We can do EKG. In the acute phase, when he has the attack, it's simple to diagnose. Sometimes it's EKG might be normal. We have to go further. Stress treadmill test. It's an EKG during exercise, monitoring the EKG. And sometimes we need ultrasound to show, to see exactly motion, um, wall motion abnormalities. Coronary disease due to what? There is different risk factors who can be involved in the disease. Three of them we cannot modify, unfortunately. Age, gender and familiarity. Other risk factors we can modify is type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol and smoking. Shisha or cigarettes, all of them smoking is dangerous for coronary disease. What we have to do when we have diagnosis coronary disease? When we do the coroangiogram that we can do it to see what is the lesion and after doing the coronary angiogram, we can do three types of choice. One of them is medical treatment. When we don't have several lesions that he has to take only medication, sometimes we can do angioplasty plus stand. What's meaning? It's a balloon and putting a stand to open the coronary artery. And sometimes it's occluded, we can reopen it and put it the stand. The third choice is surgery, open heart surgery. It's a bypass between aorta and coronary artery disease. And I hope to see you in the next time.